Hey young mathematicians, ready for more math fun? Welcome to lesson 2 part 3. New here? Don't forget to check out the rest of the lessons on our channel Maths with Varnika. Trial worksheets are available for each lesson on our channel page. Do check it out. Today's lesson is about addition properties. These are the secret rules that make addition a breeze. Let's dive in. We are going to learn three addition properties. Commutative property, associative property, identity property. The name sounds so scary. <laughs> but trust me, by the end of the lesson, you will be the master of it. And you will find them super easy. Let's learn our first property, commutative property. But we are going to play a game to learn that. Let's go. Hello, young builders. We have a mission today to build the tallest, strongest tower. Let's count what we have. Two blue blocks and four red blocks. Okay, for our first tower, let's start with all the blue blocks at the bottom and then add the red ones on the top. Hmm, look at our amazing tower. What's our total number of blocks? Two plus four, six. Now let's try something tricky. What if we build the same tower, but we switch the order? Will the tower be of the same height? Let's try it. This time, we keep four red blocks at the bottom and we stack our two blue blocks on the top. Now let's count the total. Four plus two is six. What do we see here? That the total sum is same. That means switching the order of add and actually did not change the sum. Fantastic. This can be done as 2 plus 4 is same as 4 plus 2. Simple, right? This is actually the commutative property. The commutative property of addition means changing the order of the addends does not change the sum. That means if the numbers are A and B and we add them, the resultant would be resultant sum would be same as adding B plus A. Let's look at another example. We have 38 yellow cars, 26 green cars and 12 yellow cars and we want to find the total. Let's do that. The total sum comes to be 76. But what if I count 12 red cars first and then yellow and then green. Will the sum be different? Let's calculate again. 38, 12, 40, 50 and 76. See, the sum is still the same. So actually changing the order did not change the sum. But why is the commutative property called commutative? It comes from the word commute. Commute means to move around. So just see. How the addends or the numbers move around from their place. The red car 12 came at the front but it did not change the sum. Hence this property is called commutative. To move around does not change the sum. Let's look at our another property. The associative property. Hmm. Should we play a game for that too? Let's go. Hey builders, let's play another game. This time I have two blue blocks, three yellow blocks and four red blocks. We're going to build two different towers. For our first tower, we'll group the first two colors together. Let's go. We stack our two blue blocks and then our yellow blocks. How much is that? So two plus three is five. So this tower height is five. Now let's stack our blue block, red blocks on top of it. What's the total sum of the whole tower? 5 plus 4, 9. Exactly. We can write that as 2 plus 3, which was our first group, added with 4. That gives us sum 9. Hmm. Now let's build our second tower. We'll use the same blocks, but this time we'll group the last two colors together. So what is the total sum? 3 plus 4 is equal to 
seven. Perfect. Now add the first group of two blue blocks on the top of the star. What's the total sum for this? So we already calculated seven. Now we add two more. What do we get? Nine. Hmm. So we can write that as two plus and the group that we added first, three plus four equal to nine. These brackets show us the group, the group we added first. So look, in the first star, when you've grouped two and three together and then added four, the sum was nine. While in second star, when we added three and four and then added two, the sum was still nine. So what do we see? That the changing the groups of addends does not change the sum. That's actually our associative property. So changing the grouping of addends does not change the sum. So say if we have three numbers A, B and C and we are adding them together, if we make a group of A and B and add them first and then add C, it will give us the same sum as if we would have added B and C together first and then added A to it. Let's understand it more with one more example. Say I want to know what are the total number of chocolates. I have 42 toffees, 28 lollipops and 34 candies. Hmm, let's do one thing. Let's make a group of toffees and lollipops first and then calculate the sum of this. So 42 plus 28 is 70. Now let's calculate it. Uh, calculate the sum with candies. So what do I get? 104 as total chocolates. Now let's do another way. Let's make a group of the uh, 28 and 34. So we add 28 lollipops with 34 candies. The total chocolates are 62. Now we add the total number of toffees to it. The sum is 104. So you see the sum is same. So the changing the grouping of the uh, changing the grouping of our addends did not change our sum. Hmm. Why is this property called associative? Associative means to make groups. Hence, this name comes from making groups or associative. Let's look at our last property, the third one, identity property. But I have a puzzle to ask for that. Hi, kids. Let's solve if you can solve a puzzle. There are nine blocks in my tower. Now, I want to add some more blocks to the star, but I don't want number of blocks to change. What do you think I should add? Hmm, no matter what I add, the tower will increase in height. Is there a number that I can add that the tower stays the same? You guessed it right. What if I add zero? A zero is also a number, but it has no value. So adding it will give us the same number of blocks. This is actually identity property. Adding zero to any number results in the same number. When we talk about identity, we are thinking about something that stays same. So for example, if say I have 35 apples and I add zero apples more, how many apples will I have? Still 35 apples. So this is what our identity property. Now you have mastered all your, all your properties of addition. It's the trivia time. Let's see. But before we do the trivia, let's revise one more time. So three properties of addition are commutative property, which means changing the order of addends does not change our sum. Associative property, meaning changing the grouping of addends does not change our sum. Third, identity property. Adding zero to any number results in the same number. Now let's go. Are you ready? But before we start, I would highly encourage you to pause and try by yourself. Let's continue. So let's look at the first example. Hmm, 
what do I see? The addends are same on the left and right of the equals. That means what I see is the pattern that the numbers have just moved around. The order is changed. You remember commute. Commute means move around. So this is commutative property. Let's look at another example. In this example, what do I see? Hmm, the addends are same, but the grouping is different. On the on this side, it is 27 plus 42 being grouped together and then being added to 125. While on the right side, 27 plus 125 and then 42 is being added. The grouping has changed, but it will not change our sum. This is associative property. How about this question? Oh my God, it has many numbers, but the addends are same on both left and right side. Only they have moved around or the order has been switched. This is commutative property. And the last one, I'm adding zero to number and it is staying the same. This is our identity property. Good job, guys. Remember, the trial worksheet for this lesson is available on our channel page. Do try it. It will help solidify your concept you learned today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon in our next lesson. Till that, take care. Bye-bye.